Oh, what is up YouTube? It's me Neatrick, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own minimap in Roblox Studio. First, you want to go to View on the top and make sure your explosion properties are open. If you don't have them open, make sure it is open. Mine is on over on this side. So you want to go and press Explore and then Workspace and add a folder in Workspace and rename that folder to Map. Map is uh, important. Do not do not name it to anything else. Just Map, and then go over to Start a GUI. And add a screen UI, UI, and then you want to name the screen UI. Rename this to Mini Map. That's it. Then you want to go and add a uh, frame, but it's not this kind of frame. You want to go and scroll over here and find a viewport frame. Once that once that once that is added, you want to place it wherever you want. I'm gonna place mine over here. And then scale it to whatever size you want also does not matter then go back to explorers and properties go go to explorer and find this rename the viewport frame to mini map frame like that and in that mini map frame add a um, actually no in the yes in the mini map frame add a, um, a UI aspect ratio uh, constraint and rename that UI aspect ratio constraint to um, map like that and then for this um, add a, uh, for the minimap frame uh, add a image label like that and rename it to arrow I'll tell you what the arrow is later um, so then you want to you make you want to add a image from properties to make an uh, add an image on, uh, of an arrow. I have an image. This is my image right here. Right. You can screenshot that if you want, and then um, remove the background and do whatever you need to. And uh, yeah. So after that's done, you want to go and to minimap and add a local script. And you don't need to rename the local script. Just delete whatever is inside it. And copy the local script uh, script uh, on the bottom of this video in the description or in the comments. Uh, I'll display it there anyways. And then you want to place uh, place it over here. This is how the script's gonna be. I'll keep it on the screen for a while so you guys can like pause the YouTube video and maybe copy it. Okay, after that's done, you want to just um, close this local script and go back to select explorer. Now we we've done most of everything. We do need a map, uh, like we need something in map. This could be the base plate. We can do. We can just put the base plate in here. It won't do anything. It just needs the uh, like a mo main place for like to keep the stuff. So if I go and put this here, and I go to toolbox, it probably just put a house, a structure, which is I'll put this modern house, and I'll just place that modern house into map. And once that's placed, you can still move my house anywhere you want over there and I'm gonna add a vehicle just to see how it looks like so you don't know you don't need to put the um the vehicle in the map if you want I don't know what it look like actually I haven't tried that go over here place it here um yeah and then uh, put the car in the map and let's see how it is how it looks like with both and to make this in a circle, I'll show you that later. Let me just check it right now. Let me test it over here. All right, see, so you can see your car over here, the red car on the mini map over here, and you can see the arrow view moving around the place. Uh, yeah, that's you. That's your character. Um, then you can go and drive, and then see. This is the problem. The model will stay in the same place. So I advise not to add the car model to the thing, to your um, map. So just remove car and add it to workspace. And I can test it with out it. Now you'll move gradually with the car. As you can see here, the car won't stay on the map. It'll stay with you like that. And then for the uh, house, let me get out of this car really quick. Uh, 
I think no, I don't think this house will work. You need you usually need a map, an actual like map. So we can go over to uh let's just search up a road. Where we have a road over here. We'll use a road. So you can add that road to map and press play. Once you add play, you see over here the road and you can see over here your pawn location, the road and stuff, right? It's simple as that. But if you do want to make it into a circle, you can go to um you go to the mini map frame and add a UI corner. And it'll you see over here it's a little bit cornered, but you want it to be circled, so you go to properties from the UI cor UI um corner, go to properties and put 90. You don't put like zero comma stuff, just put 90. And then once it's done, it'll become like this. Uh, I think you can also put 100 or maybe 200. Oh yeah, 200 works like that. Uh, 200, and then once you press play, it's the circle. Uh, a lot of card games use uh, circles, so that's why I added it to this tutorial. A lot of people do want to make these kind of um, games like GTA and stuff like that. RP games. A lot of people love the circle. And most other games, like the oldest games, do have the square. Uh, I don't think a lot of people use it, but yeah. So that's how you make a mini-map in Roblox Studio. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.